The university is in a position to begin to outline some decisions that we've made and provide you with some choices and options. It won't surprise you to know that all of these options and choices aren't going to be able to be revealed at exactly the same time. Let us say first that we are committed and I have no reason to believe that we will not be teaching a full year academic program during the course of this calendar year. That said, it is also the case that a number of opportunities have opened up for students to do their learning in a little different way. For our College of Education students, there are opportunities to extend flexible online learning. For our science students, there is the opportunity to bring forward field-based research. For other groups of students, there will be other opportunities. But the one opportunity we were able to announce today was an invitation that we received from the University of Adelaide to host up to 500 students on their campus in Adelaide for this semester. That's this first semester of 2011. I'd like to outline in a little detail what is actually being offered. But first, let's make sure we know to whom the offer is being made. You must be an enrolled student at the University of Canterbury. Those of you who were caught in the enrolment cycle will be relieved to know that we have automatically progressed your enrolment status through so that you are fully enrolled. That at least gives you choices. Not only must you be an enrolled student, but you must have a New Zealand passport. There is some urgency to make our choices and get students into the University of Adelaide because they started teaching this week. So if you're enrolled and you've got a passport, then the rest of this message might give you an option. The University of Adelaide is an institution like ours. It was founded at the founding of Australia and at the same time New Zealand. It's a little older than ours. It ranks higher than us in the Times Higher Education Supplement. It's a quality institution. It has a wide range of programs in arts, commerce and science in particular. We think that first and second year students may be the ones most attracted to the more generic offerings. And if you study under the semester abroad at the University of Adelaide, you will get credit towards your New Zealand University of Canterbury degree because you are, after all, still our enrolled student studying in an approved program, albeit at the University of Adelaide. Of course, what you'll want to know is what will it cost and how will I pay? The first thing is the Minister of Tertiary Education has made it clear that your access to student loans and allowances will be unchanged whether you're studying in Christchurch or in Adelaide. The study abroad experience allows you to access student loans and allowance on the same terms. Not more generous, but not less generous. The University of Adelaide will not charge you any student fee. But obviously you will still have to pay for your own accommodation and living expenses, disbursements and textbooks and so forth. The University of Canterbury, through its trust funds, will pay the return airfare to come and go, and Qantas has made available a large plane to fly out of Christchurch this weekend and then allow you to return on commercial flights in due course. It's a full semester abroad program. Your incidental costs will be your own affair, but what we have been able to secure is two accommodation options. One, being billeted with a member of the staff of the University of Adelaide, or alternatively an alumnus, for $100 a week. Or secondly, to the extent they're available, in private hall of residence, in four bedroom apartments, uh, self-catering, for 200 Australian dollars a week. I know this is an important decision to make, and I know that I'm asking you to consider the opportunity in very short time. However, Times are a bit like that at the moment. If you can grab a bag, and this seems to fit with your own degree program and study, and, and our analysis is that this can do you no harm and may do you good, then I look forward to seeing an application, giving you a decision, and for those of you who are chosen, seeing you off at the airport.